Okay, so we're here once again in Sight Simulator, and as you can see, I am back in the lava wasteland. Uh, I'm grinding rebirths again, I need to grind the rebirths again. Uh, I'm falling off quite a bit. Uh, if we come out here to the all time leaderboards, as you can see now, people are up to 5.2 trillion. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom of it, people are getting up to 500 billion. Um, so yeah, I've really slacked off with mainly because of the event eggs, uh, the nostalgia eggs basically. So I'm basically back here in the lava wasteland to get my rebirth going again. If we're coming to here, as you can see, I've gotten 261 billion, so I'm like halfway to getting on the leaderboard. But I have actually gotten over a month. Uh, I've just actually surpassed a month time played, uh, all time played even. So that is absolutely lovely uh, but yeah I'm basically just here rebirthing again um, and if you're coming to players I've gotten my alt account to do the dirty work on the on the uh, St. Patrick's Day egg uh, I'm maybe gonna try and get another alt account going uh, it seems though it is a sale right now on the game passes but I'm not too sure yet uh, I'll just have to think about that uh, but obviously I've still got to get up to the 1.1 uh, septillion research, I've still not got it yet. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to grind this out now. But uh, what I did to actually help me out is I got the plus 3 pets equipped game pass. So I've now gotten the max amount of pets we can equip in the game. Obviously I already had the plus 2 pets, uh, so I had 9, but now I've gotten 12 pets equipped. And I stole some of the pets off of my alt account, the Dominus Crystals uh, that do 10.1k uh, and also my Pet Moon that does 10.4k is now on my team also, which is absolutely sweet. Um, but yeah, what I can actually do now, since the new update has actually been pushed out, I can actually show off some of the St. Patrick's Day stuff. So... If we unequip all these now and we come down here, uh, I'll equip. Uh, I'll equip like one of these each, uh, the lucky wardens and the lucky electric dominus things. So we've come into here now and we unhide our pets. There they are. They've floated in now. So obviously we've gotten the normal lucky electric dominus. You've seen all the stats in a previous video. Nice green color. Uh, over here we have the shiny one. Uh, with a nice like pinky, white, red kind of theme going on. We've got in the normal Lucky Warden over here, the same kind of green going on. And then we have the shiny Lucky Warden, which is like a nice pink. Obviously they're not the biggest of pets because they are tier 1s and tier 2s. But apparently the Lucky Teddies are absolutely huge. So if we're coming to here now and we equip a Lucky Teddy... There it floats in and boom, look at the size of this thing. It is absolutely massive. The top hat on top obviously makes it even bigger. But this thing is absolutely massive. Could have been a secret pet. If I get out like a secret pet, like a lucky, uh, a Molten Warlord even, and maybe the 10 M Emerald. Yeah, it basically fits in with these just nicely. So obviously if you want to just make yourself look like you've got a, a full secret team get some lucky teddies uh, they're pretty strong as well obviously the uh, they do 3k research at level one so yeah so they're absolutely amazing uh, but what i'm going to do is keep my best team equipped uh, because i am now grinding for rebirths uh, not sure well actually if they come into here again and it does say 20, 261 billion. So we get 90, it's something like 93.7 with the times two rebirths for some reason. Uh, I'll get uh, off the top of my head about 258 maybe, something like that. 258, 259, no, 359 even, not 200, 359 billion rebirths. So I'll be nicely on the way again. Um, obviously because my research is going up a lot quicker now thanks to the stat boosts and obviously I'm getting 
obviously I've got more pets equipped now so it makes it a lot easier um, all I'm just need to do now is just wait for like the um, the new mutations to come out because I'm hoping that they're gonna be quite OP like this ascended one um, so that I can put it on like uh, obviously I can put it on my all seeing water high champion uh, my 10 m emerald and my all seeing grand champions to make them even stronger hopefully they get up to about 15k each that will be amazing uh, obviously I've gotten some other pets here like the molten guardian and the molten warlords but I don't think they'll really get much of a boost uh, obviously my pet earth's not on my team anymore and the frosty guardian that I got traded on the stream is just stat wise it's not the best but it's a nice pet to have uh, I'm not actually sure what it looks like so what I'm actually going to do is unequip this and equip this hopefully it's not going to be uh, overshadowed by anything maybe I'll just unhide the pets and uh, yeah it's there okay so it's actually quite a nice looking pet obviously if I move out of the way of the UI so yeah, it's obviously quite a nice looking pet uh, just everything's a nice looking pet they're all huge I'm absolutely surrounded now by secret pets obviously when I get mutations going I'm hoping maybe that these will actually get on my team so that I can actually have a full secret team I'm not actually sure how many secrets I have altogether. that's five six seven eight nine ten I think I only have ten now if I just unequip everything and I can just count it properly one two three four five six seven yeah it's ten so I have ten secret pets basically uh, so obviously I can't have a full full team but obviously if I traded some stuff I could uh, tempted to trade my all seen uh, water high champion for some 10 m emeralds just for stats not really obviously much of a trader myself but yeah we'll see how it goes I'm just going to get my rebirths going and I'll see you all in the next video